Oh, and sent. Sent what? Oh, just replying to some lovely fan mails. Thanks to email, we can connect with our awesome viewers from all around the globe. Wow, email is awesome. It sure is, little kitty. And that got me thinking. Why not take a moment to appreciate the brilliant minds behind it? So, let's answer the big question. Who invented email? Zoom in! The story of email began in the 1960s when computers were massive machines used mainly by scientists and researchers. Back then, people had to share computers and couldn't send messages across different systems. In 1965, two engineers at MIT, Noel Morris and Tom Van Vleck, created one of the first messaging systems that allowed users on the same computer to leave notes for each other. But this wasn't email as we know it. It was more like a virtual bulletin board. The real breakthrough came in 1971, thanks to Ray Tomlinson, a computer engineer, working on a project called ARPANET, the early version of the Internet. Tomlinson modified an existing message program so it could send messages between different computers on the ARPANET network. To separate the username from the destination computer, he chose the now famous at the rate symbol. This is why your email address will look like the username at the rate domain name dot com today. His invention is considered the first true electronic mail system. After this innovation, Electronic mail quickly grew up in popularity, especially among researchers at universities. By 1973, about 75% of ARPANET traffic was email. Governments, scientists and later businesses found it incredibly useful. In 1976, even Queen Elizabeth II sent her first electronic mail, becoming the first head of state to use the new technology. Of course, not all messages were welcome. In 1978, a marketeer named Gary Turk sent a mass electronic mail to promote a computer product. Although his message reached many users and generated sales, it was unsolicited making it the first known spam email. Also in 1978, Shiva Ayudurai, a 14-year-old student, created a program called Email for a medical school to manage office communication. While his system resembled modern email, it was not based on ARPANET and came years after Tomlinson's invention. Still, Ayadurai is credited with popularizing the term email. As email use grew, new protocols were created to help messages travel more efficiently. In 1982, the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, SMTP, was introduced, which is still used today to send emails from one server to another. Over time, email moved from universities and offices to homes and pockets. Services like Hotmail and Gmail made email free and easy to access, while smartphones in the 2000s brought email to mobile devices Features like attachments, formatting and emojis evolved, making email more personal and powerful. Today, email is used by billions of people worldwide. It has not only changed the way we communicate, but has also become essential for education, business and social life. From a small experiment on a government network 
to a global communication tool. Email's journey shows how one good idea can connect the world. And speaking of emails, we receive so many amazing sketches and thoughtful messages from you wonderful little explorers. While we can't feature every single one, I want you to know that we do read every one of them. So keep those emails coming. We love hearing from you. It's trivia time. Did you know there are over 4 billion email users today? Also, as of 2025, over 347 billion emails are sent every day worldwide. And that number keeps rising. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Dhruv Harikishan. Hope you learned something useful today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Why don't you feature Kitty's sketch? Well, never mind.